Hi everybody, I'm Jonathan. I'm a third year student with the FSU Oslo Conservatory for Actor Training. And today I wanna to share with you a great technique that I use whenever I'm working on a new piece of Shakespeare. Some of you may have noticed that Shakespeare's language can be very long, complicated, and his thoughts aren't very easy to follow. To work on this as an actor, you're literally gonna walk out your thoughts. Pick a piece of Shakespeare, maybe a monologue, maybe a sonnet, memorize it, and when you're ready, start walking. As you're walking, when you're ready, you're going to start speaking your Shakespeare. Now, every time your character has a new idea, change direction. Every single time, change direction, change direction. You'll start getting the idea of how your character thinks, and you'll be getting the text into your body. I'll demonstrate for you now using a little bit of Hamlet. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles and, by opposing, end them. You can do this with any piece of Shakespeare. Start walking it out. I'll walk you through some of it now. When you're ready, you have your text, start walking. Now, go ahead and start speaking your Shakespeare. Do they have a new thought? Change direction. A new thought? Change direction again. Don't be afraid. Maybe your character has a lot of new ideas. Change direction, change direction, change direction. When you've gotten to the end of your text, stop speaking and stop walking. Think back to what just happened. How does your character think? Do they have long, complicated ideas? Do they have short bursts of ideas that lead to longer discoveries? Keep working with this. Maybe you'll be surprised by how your character thinks the second time you go through. Thanks so much, and have fun working on your Shakespeare.